Hello, welcome to experiment number 10. You can see here, I've now got it hooked up in the van. I've got it in my cab at the moment. Because I don't want to, uh, I, I want to keep an eye on it. There's a big space in the engine here. This is all where it can go eventually. Or down this side, there's the uh, air filter down there. Down there. This is the engine air inlet. This is the hole I've made and I've glued around it. This is vacuum hose of an automobile. Or a car. Um, it's got, I've got it come around here. Roots around there and it's going through the firewall. This clear tube going into the firewall and then into the cab area. So if we have a look, you can see it running. This is where it comes out from the firewall. It comes down into this tube. This tube is here just in case if I go over any bumps or anything, any fluid that comes down from the, the fuel cell, from the cell, down this tube and then we'll collect at the bottom of this bottle. I've got it wired up at the moment into my cigarette lighter. This is only purely for ease, you know, while I'm testing it. There'll be a switch in here, which I've already made, it's at home. And that will be switching it on and off when it while, when it's under the bonnet. Down here is the cell. And as you can see, it's running. Oops! I'm using the same water and same salt contact as uh, experiment number nine. I haven't cleaned it or anything. As you can see, it's gone all cruddy. It's been running in here for about 20 minutes so far and that's what, it's look, that's what it's looking like. It feels quite warm but it is quite insulated in there. I've put some plastic bags around it to hold it in tight but that's also acting as uh, heat insulation. So I'll have to watch that. Um, and that's it. This is the positive terminal, negative terminal. It's going straight up to the cigarette lighter and there you have it experiment number 10 in the van hello test number this is experiment number 10 I'm a bit disappointed because something's gone wrong you can see in there I can see some of the wires aren't connected it seemed to have broken off there as well it's broken see at the top there it's broke so and plus of all this there's all this brown muck in the whole jar I don't know what's caused it, but I'll have to wait till we get home and have a proper look at it and see what's happened. Okay, signing off for now.